Machine. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Welcome to my podcast, Cold Narratives. I'm your host, Iceberg Green. I'm about to let y'all hear some of these cold narratives. Check it out. Okay, so here we go. This is round two of the Great Immigration. Um, so uh, they're at it again. They dropped off 20 uh, more people in Sacramento, flown private jet. they doing it big now. Uh, slavery didn't change, man. It's modern day stuff. But um, Ron DeSantis, he had some more people, flew from Texas, knew the same situation, and they landed in Sacramento. So now we're stuck with the bill taxpayers. Again, here we go. And they allocating a lot of money to make this happen. Black people, man, make sure your vote. Make sure your vote count. Okay, so this is uh, from Fox News, and they just broke the story, and this is their take on it. Check it out. The migration crisis causing budget pinches coast to coast. Chicago allocating $51 million to deal with the influx. $51 million is a lot of money. Some residents up in arms. We need to take care of our community. We need to take care of our black community. Arguing city council has their priorities wrong. I demand you to have the same passion and urgency to pass the city of Chicago reparations on. In California, the state legislature advancing a bill to give undocumented migrants who are out of work unemployment checks. Just think about this. You got people who have never worked in the United States, never paid a tax dollar, never uh, went to uh, the, the school system, never went and had to deal with any type of uh, mass incarceration, any systemic racism, any type of systematic oppression. They've had to deal with none of that. But yet, um, they're victims. They get to come over in search of freedom, uh, uh, pretty much take a bite out of our economy, gain wealth, and send it back to their country. And we're sitting here stuck with the tab, as usual. So our agenda, man, our black agenda with these reparations, man, y'all got it. We see where all the money going. We know y'all got it. So that excuse of y'all don't have it is over with. We see y'all got it. It's been in Ukraine. It went all over the country, but to us. It's about time to cut that check, for real. The safety net is good for families helping to uh, ensure that they get food on the table and have a roof over their heads. Republicans estimating the proposal would cost $2 billion a year. When the governor and the Democrat supermajority is sending out the message of come to California, get free money, you don't have to work, uh, that's just going to draw more and more illegal immigrants to our state. You know, and this is actually serious because what they, what they're doing right now is taking a uh, uh, they're taking a bite out of our economy. They're spending over a bit. This is going to cost them like two billion dollars a year just to keep bringing these people in here, providing them jobs, uh, unemployment checks. I don't get that part, but they're reaping. They're getting they're getting reparations coming over here. It's like, man, they just get it straight off the boat, off the plane, off the they're getting it. So uh, this is just an example, man, of what we're dealing with and how the black agenda is just getting pushed to the curb. But we we not giving that fight up. Nah, 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 nah. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says caring for these migrants costs his city $4.3 billion. Every service in the city is going to be impacted by this asylum and migrant crises that we are facing. School systems also feeling the impact. The New York Post reporting 16,000 migrant children enrolled in New York City public schools since the fall. Florida's Miami-Dade County adding 20,000 migrant kids this year alone, according to NPR. The district already struggling to hire enough teachers. State and local leaders fighting over federal dollars to help with the migrants' care. Mayor Eric Adams says the White House failed his city. The Biden administration says they are working on sending additional funds to places like New York City to help address the crisis. Uh, from what I remember, we came in chains, shackles, uh, boats. Uh, you, I mean, they coming in jets now. So, hey, this evolution of uh, this new modern day slavery, I guess that's the way it works, huh? I want to thank you all for tuning in. I also want to say God bless those going through the struggle. And make sure you watch out for them cold narratives that the government trying to push on us, y'all. And to all my black people, I will be nothing without y'all. God bless you all.